This Quest 2 has the worst proximity sensor melt I think I've ever seen. And you might be asking, how does something like this happen? While I can only speculate due to the fact that I've only seen about a dozen units like this, my theory is that if enough sweat gets in here, it can cause a short circuit, which causes the entire proximity sensor to melt. So how do we fix it? Well, let's start by taking it apart and seeing what's actually going on underneath the hood. Take this tape off so that we can access the T2 screws and then use our T2 screwdriver to remove the faceplate. Once I've got those T2 screws out, I should be able to pry away the faceplate. Hopefully it's not melted to the inside. Yikes. I really hope that nobody was wearing this when this happened. The good news is once I removed the face shield, the LCD did gain its ability to adjust the IPD again. The melted battery casing is kind of wigging me out and it doesn't really feel safe. In fact, the plastic here is kind of rubbery. So we're just gonna have to tear it down and replace that battery. Unfortunately for Quest 2 users, in order to access the battery and replace it, we do need to take out every single component inside the headset. And out comes the LCD. Now we finally have access to the screws that hold the battery in. And out it comes. A Little bit of a closer look at the melting. New battery goes in. And now it's time to put everything back together. And now that we've got everything back together, we can finally install our new face shield and proximity sensor. And it looks like we're working. Now we just gotta get this thing clean so we can send it home. There we go, nice and clean. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more VR related content like this.